You know, with almost 800 videos, most of them cooking, that I've shot in the last 10 years, uh, it's getting a little bit difficult to come up with something new and interesting. But I remembered a meal we had for Christmas Eve about 40 years ago in Baja, Baja, California, that is. And I decided to recreate it today. Uh, mention it to Frida and she says that sounds great and so I'm going to make it. It's called Happy Shrimp. Uh, anything that includes the word happy and shrimp is bound to be good. But I want to tell you a little bit about our life then. That was after I would retired at 50 and uh, some friends and I flew down to uh, the south tip of Baja, California, which is a strip of land, desert mostly, rocks, cactus, and desert, about uh, 12, 1,200 miles long, and it hangs down from the bottom of California down by San Diego and along the western coast of Mexico, uh, and finally into a place called Cabo San Lucas. These rocks are very prominent and uh, sort of the signature for Baja and uh, you can actually walk under that arch when the tide is out. The water is low enough you can walk across there. Uh, but when the tide is in it's usually so rough they don't even want to send boats through there. But at any rate there's two major cities on Baja. There's Ensenada at the north end and La Paz about 70 miles from the south end. And uh, we used to fly down there, some friends and I, and to a place called Los Frailes. And camp under a fig tree on the beach. And stay there for about a week and whatnot, and it was such an enjoyable trip that I decided to take Frida and, and we'd go down there and just spend the winter there. So I built out a van uh, for camping. It had a bed across the back and storage cabinet and a porta potty and a 10 gallon fresh water tank. And uh, it, we could survive two or, two or three weeks if need be just in the van didn't need a hookup or anything like that and we were traveling in that and we'd try to stay in a hotel maybe once a week or something of that sort. Uh, the rest of the time we just parked wherever we could and stayed in the van. But this particular Christmas Eve we were in La Paz and parked on the uh, uh, dock there where the fish boats come in and all of that and uh, it was getting along about uh, five o'clock in the afternoon and I said you know we better go see if we can find some place open so we drove down the seawall there most of the restaurants were already closed and everything and found this one which is still open and had lights and had people in there so we went in and sat down and the waitress came over and said I'm sorry, the only thing we have left tonight is happy shrimp. And I said, well, anything with shrimp and happy is bound to be good, so we'll have happy shrimp. And that's what I'm going to make tonight. Well, since the rice is going to take the longest to cook, or to be ready to eat, serve, I'm going to start with it first. It's going to take about 30 minutes. And to make this, uh, for two people, requires a half cup of rice which takes a cup of liquid of some kind it could be water or whatever you want but I'm going to use chicken stock it just tastes a lot better a lot richer okay there's a cup of chicken stock and it's 
season that up a bit I'm going to put some ground oregano in there nothing like seasoning your rice just plain old white rice is kind of dull this is I think I said oregano this is cumin I'm sorry and paprika to give it the Mexican rice color and a little turmeric that also adds color to it as well as flavor and another flavor that I like it's not Mexican by any many it means but since I'm making this I'm going to flavor it the way I like this is some capers uh, just a few of them in there really adds a, a nice flavor that's mostly Italian type of seasoning but now I'm going to bring it up to a boil see that nice reddish yellow color there well this is boiling so I just added the rice to it stir it in let it come back to a boil by the way any of those seasonings I put in if you don't have them it's no big deal it's just something that I like and it adds a little bit of extra flavors to it so if you've got something that you like in there, put it in. I will put the lid on this and move it to the back of the stove where it's going to take about 30 minutes and that will give me time to let my wok warm here and get ready to start making the shrimp. Well, the rice has absorbed all the liquid on it, and, but since the rice is done, it's time to go with the rest of it. Five o'clock, right, just right on the dock. Old, old Chinese saying, hot wok, cold oil, no stick. and some butter and you can't use too much oil because it becomes a sauce over it let that heat up a bit okay that's hot so in goes the shrimp. This is about eight ounces of cooked shrimp. You can use cooked or raw. If you use cooked, it fixes a lot faster. If you use raw, it uh, takes a little longer. You just cook it till the uh, shells turn pink. We'll let that heat up and get the shrimp hot and happy. And this puppy is going to be ready for dinner in just a few minutes. I was shooting for 5 o'clock and made it. Okay, if you have a lemon, squeeze about the juice of one lemon. If you don't have a lemon, this lemon juice here in a bottle works just fine. About a teaspoon or so of it. That really puts some flavor into the sauce and toss in a, three or four green onions chopped up. Tumble those around a little. Hit it with a little salt.
and that's ready to start plating up. Got the plates here. Put a layer of rice in each one. Raise this up to where I can see the plates on there a little better. I hate to move the camera with it going. Pour in some of the sauce. And about half the shrimp. and it's ready to go to the table. And here it is on the table. Looks and smells good. I'll take a bite of this rice to start with. Good, just like I remember it. How's it taste, Tom? Mm-hmm. Good. Do you remember this having this at uh Yeah, I do. I tried to try and think of where it was. It was in a little restaurant in uh La Paz Baja. That's where the guy started bussing the table in front of us. Mm. That is good. It's called Happy Shrimp. I don't know about shrimp, but I'm happy. <laughs> and 15 after 5. <clears throat> yeah, that, about him busting the table, when, by the time we got our food, everybody else is leaving and they were cleaning up in there and even the waitress had left. And, the guy came over there and picked up our plate on one side, rolled the tablecloth up to the middle, picked up Frida's on the other, rolled it back, took it off, and I realized that what he was wanting to do was get home to his family. So he came back and I said, would you put this in a box so we can take it with us? He did, and we walked out. As we walked out the door, he turned the lights off, and we had finished our dinner sitting in the van in the parking lot. But God bless America, God bless Texas, and you folks have a fabulous day. I know we're going to finish up with one.